Yeah. Okay, hi guys, my name is Jasmine White. I'm a junior at Waverly High School. Sweet The name of my poem is He is a Hundred Shades of Crimson Red, and this is a trigger warning for a sexual assault. She once held a blade across her wrist, wishing to strip away the skin where his fingertips stained. A hundred shades of crimson red shattered the virgin white porcelain sink. She felt so dirty, drowning in ammonia to cleanse what was once clean, scrubbing so ferociously, a motion that she had perfected. Every time seeing herself bare, she couldn't help but to scrub. Scrub at the marks on her wrists where she attempted to cut free from her skin that felt more like a body bag. Scrub at the vertical lines draped down her hips, he left her a two-dimensional figure. A two-dimensional figure that he took into his hands like a piece of paper and turned into an airplane that he took control of like a kamikaze pilot. He was going to crash her. Scrub at a fingerprint, six years old, lines drawn with a hundred shades of crimson red, still able to feel his carnivorous hands pushing through her knees and past her thighs to reach below a belt that only had eleven years tucked beneath it, that had never even been un done. His touch was a hundred shades cold. The kind of cold that burned like fire. Like the cold that welcomed seasonal depression. The cold that could make her body freeze and cause her saliva to stick to her throat so her voice stuck to her vocal cords when all she wanted to do was scream. Scream because her vision became blurry with the hundred shades of stranger that he became in front of her eyes. She had to just have been dreaming. Screaming to wake her mind. Sleeping was no longer a freedom but a denial by God. A constant nightmare, a lake of burning sulfur, and like the flames of hell, a hundred shades of crimson red embodied his fingers. Reaching for her, a second death became a thousand. Drowning below a surface, six years deep, rocks strung by her ankles, down was the only direction she knew. Recognizing the path like the palm of her hand, but only being able to see where the strength of her thumbs were not great enough to rip him from her body. So he plucked her soul a hundred shades clean. That's all he left her. A thief caught red-handed but unable to be prosecuted because 11-year-olds make things up. Because 11-year-olds believe in monsters. Because 11-year-olds have parents that don't want to believe in monsters. Her bed became home, a place where she could stay covered in clustered hope and unwashed sheets, a place where she could bury her Bible and forget about the man that created her monster, a place where she didn't have to confront the stranger that she had become, because rarely she found the courage to look herself in the mirror. His five bristle paintbrush created an image a hundred shades of crimson red so thick that she couldn't recognize her own reflection that I couldn't recognize my own reflection, and every day I wish she wouldn't have been me.